How to add Angular code to an existing web application. First, I'm going to open up my example folder. I'm going to open up command prompt. And I can create a new Angular application by typing ng space new and the application name, example app. Angular will ask if you want routing. I'll say yes. Then it will ask you what type of style sheets you want to use. I hit enter for CSS. The Angular application is being generated and all the packages are being pulled down. All right, all the packages were pulled down successfully. The next step is to change directory into the application. So in this case, CD example app. And then we can build the application by typing ng build dash dash prod. Okay, now the build has completed. So let's go into our folder for the application and go into our dist folder. And in this folder, you will see either three or six of these files, a main file, a polyfill file, and a runtime file. Alternatively, you might see uh, all these files and then ES5 or ES2015 at the end of the files. So basically what you have to do is take the JavaScript files in the distribution directory here and put them into your application. Next step, I'll make an ASP.NET application. Open up Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new web project. Let's do ASP.NET web application. Create the application. I'm going to leave it as web forms and click create. It doesn't really matter what technology that you use. Now at this point, I have a default ASP.NET web forms application and a default Angular application. So let's run the ASP.NET website and see what it looks like. So here it is, the default ASP.NET web forms application straight out of the box. So now let's replace our UI with Angular. Close the web browser. Now let's go to the scripts folder, expand that, highlight all our files from Angular, copy, and paste them into the scripts folder. Let's go to the default ASPX page. Let's open our Angular app back up. Go to the index.html file. Open that file. Then we can copy the script references and the target tag app slash root. Let's paste that in here. So now we have our scripts, we have our app dash root, and then we need the base href. Next, we have to fix the path for all the scripts. Since they're in the scripts folder, we append scripts to every single one of them. Save. Then we're going to navigate to the site master. We need to comment out any conflicting JavaScript. So I'm going to comment out the web forms bundle, and I'm going to comment out web parts. Save everything. Let's run the application. Now you can see we have Angular code running on our web forms application. You can use Angular on a page by page basis or have it take over your entire front end of your existing application. And that's how easy it is to add Angular to an existing web application. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.